Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm super excited to share with you all whoever's been waiting for the Bell and Bauble die set. So if you remember back um, last year when we had the Tonic Studios kit number 73 out, it was so, so popular and there was a lot of demand for this die set where you can create the most amazing bells and baubles. So I have got a video on how to create and make your bells and baubles. I'll put that in the description box below so you can go and click and watch that video. I have got a few projects that I've made for this particular launch which I'm going to show you in one sec. But the new thing with this um, die set collection that you're going to get are the amazing, amazing foils. So this is the foil fusion collaboration with this die set. And with it, you're going to get a whole selection of words. I've actually cut into these for my samples. But you get lots of Christmas words and sayings um, that you can foil with your foil fusion. And you're going to have so much fun. So the foil fusion... Um, I'll show you how it works because I have got a little strip and I'll show you how to use the foil fusion um, with these words and um, designs. But the die set I'm talking about is this die set which came in with kit number 73. You're probably going to get it on an A4 format because it's not as a kit this time. It is actually um, a standalone die set with the foil fusion and this is my instructions so this is how you create your bauble and this is how you create your um christmas bell so i'll show you what i've done this time round so i created this adorable um little bauble here it's so so cute and i've used um some glitter card and you can see the foiling that i've done here so i've got from me to you and season's greetings alternating all the way around the top and I've added some ribbon here and some um, sparkly ribbon on top and to add a bit more sparkle I've, had this, I've added the starlit snowflakes sorry I don't know why it's doing this um, confetti on the top as well so those um, are the little snowflakes there so I'm going to put this here I've made another bauble, which is this one here, and I will show you how I actually um, just foiled the paper. You can see how beautiful the foiling has come out. And again, I've alternated um, the tis the season saying all the way around. And it's a really nice way to actually foil your patterned papers because not all patterned papers are foiled with your Christmas sentiments. And with this foil fusion, you can actually create your own foiled um, patterned paper. So that looks really adorable. And inside, I'll just show you how it looks. So I think on my original designs, I added magnets, but this time I added the little um, closure here that comes with the die set and this is the inside so really really nice little container to put any little gift in I'm going to put that to a side here and then I'll show you the bell that I've made it is a pretty large bell that you can make with this set so this is my large Christmas bell and you can see I've used my tonic Christmas candy stripe paper I've put joy to the world around the top in my green foil fusion and i've added these holly berries holly leaves and then i've also added jingle bells on this with some red foiling and then some green ribbon to close it off and um, some white um drops as snow and then inside you get again this large compartment where you can add whatever you like and this one is a very clever design because it's basically that bauble wrapped with the bell bottom. So it's a really, really nice, clever design, really easy to put together. Please check out my video on how um, I put the bauble together. And now what I'll do is I'll just quickly grab a bit of my foil and a bit of pattern paper. And I'll show you how to use that foil fusion. So here I have some pattern paper, some green, some leftover from that one. I think I'll use the green to show you. So I've got a bit of pattern paper. So we're making some foiled um, paper. And then I've cut out with lots of love from my little sticker sheets that come with this die set and then i'm going to be using gold so they cut really easily and i think only cut what you need and 
be as frugal as you can but there is a lot on these rolls and um, you can use them for backgrounds and work, just sentiments you can use them for whatever you like so with this I've cut it down and you're going to remove the acetate and then you're going to be left with like a little haze like a little sticker and you can see just about see the word I don't know if it's you can see there um, it's almost like I mean like a watermark and then you're going to place that onto your paper and then with your bone folder give this a burnish because you want this to transfer onto your paper so I'm going to burnish it down making sure my whole design all the words are burnished down properly and then I'm going to remove the acetate and this should leave behind the tackiness of the words so it's like almost like a techy sentiment and then i'm going to go in with my gold foil so when you're placing this down you want your color facing up and the dull side facing down and then i'm just going to place it on top of my word like this and then again with your bone folder you're just gonna burnish it in and it's gonna almost lift off off the word when you start pressing down so you can see it's already starting to do that so I'm going to go in and finish doing this and the foil is only going to stick to where the adhesive is so I'm going to probably do a bit more here and then you remove this backing away and you're left with that beautiful foiling so you can see how beautiful that looks so now i've got my own foiled pattern paper and you can use whatever paper you want really to foil on i've used um, pattern paper i used my craft perfect so you can use um whatever paper you have and then the negative is left behind as well and i'm sure you can use this um some way as well so that is it from me for today um i will put the link below to where you can go and find this die set because i know so many people missed out last time and they were so so like looking forward to it coming back out so it's available right now for you to go and grab and have fun and like i said the tutorial to the baubles i'll put in the description box because i've already done a video for this with the craft kit 73 so that is it from me for today thank you again for watching and i will see you all very soon take care bye